Hey, what's going on, everyone? Today, I just wanted to show you guys um, some uh, baits I got from jigs I got um, from New Tech Lures, and I'm gonna compare them to. I'm gonna p compare the new Pro Series to the um, the old, you know, regular um, series that they had. Didn't have a name, just you know, the older one. Um, and I'm, you guys are also gonna see a few clips um, regarding the jig. Um, one short clip from the uh, seminar I did and uh, one clip from me testing out the jig in really heavy brush. So uh, I, I just, I opened this package already, but I haven't even looked inside yet, so first thing is a t-shirt. Um, now I think this one that he sent me, yeah this is an XL because um, they didn't have my size which is a medium. This is an XL, so I, got, I just got the XL for my dad. Um, you could just see New Tech Lures, a cool logo on the front, right there. And there's NewTechLures.com on the back. So that's cool. Now for the jigs. Jigs come in just these packages. I think they'll be getting uh, new packaging for them soon. They just come in these bags for now, though. Um, not exactly sure how many jigs I got. I think about maybe 10. Yeah, something like that. Um, but these are the new Pro Series, man. These look pretty sick, right, no, right as I'm taking them out of the package. Um, maybe like eight. Yeah, I got. I think I got eight. Business card. The new tech business card. Castle, Missouri. Um, so I'm just going to compare these to the, uh, these new Pro Series to the old, um, series. Um, so here I got one of the older ones, and I'll compare it to the, uh, same color of the, uh, new Pro Series. Alright, first thing, right off the bat, I can see that the old one, it's got that gold hook, and the new one, it's got the new black nickel owner hook. Now, like I said, that's the black nickel owner. Owner hooks are really sharp. That'll focus for you. There it goes. Owner hooks are really sharp. Now, you guys, I'm sure all you guys know about the, uh, you know, the iconic head design and the um, guide arms instead of the weed guard. You know what those do. Always stand up in the, you know, always stand up and, you know, when the fish takes it, it's uh, sitting in the bottom of their mouth like that straight up so when you set the hook it goes up and it goes right into the roof of their mouth so that's the physics of it um, another thing that's uh, different from the um, Pro Series and the older one is that um, the head color um, now this you can see it's the exact same color skirt but this one it's got a green pumpkin head now you know they've advanced that if that'll focus for you there you go. You can see the green pumpkin head. You see this one's got a black head. You know? So they've got, I think, four different head colors that you can choose from. Let's see if I got any different ones. Yeah. The only other one I got was brown. That's just the brown, and that's on the peanut butter and jelly jig. They've got the black, the brown, the green pumpkin, and the white. So the white's really nice. So those are two major differences. Um, I really think the um, the owner hooks will be sharper, um, and I'm going to stick some fish. Um, so, yeah, I just got eight of them. I got Candy Craw. Let's see. I'm not sure exactly what these colors are. This is like a watermelon, uh, you know, purple, green flake. This might be the Candy Craw right here. Yeah, this is the Candy Craw, I'm pretty sure. These ones, Missouri Craw. This is a really nice color. It's got that nice chartreuse in it. Missouri Craw. See that right there? That's a good color. Uh, let's see, peanut butter and jelly, that's basic. Peanut butter and jelly. And finally this one, this uh, 
forget what this color is. I'll also uh, throw in the uh, color in the video. You'll see it. Um, but this is like a brown craw type color. It's got some black, got some brown, got some amber in the flake. So yeah, that's my order, guys. It's eight jigs and a t-shirt. Um, and uh, here are these clips um, from the hog trough and the, the hog trough seminar and the um, outside working it through brush. And uh, you'll see the comparison versus a regular competitor jig with the regular skirt and the new jig. So um, thanks for watching, guys. This particular jig, this is the New Tech Lures jig. Uh, this actually has two guide arms instead of a loose dog like many other jigs. And it's got an iconic head design to make it always stand up on its head. So when you, when you drop it into the water, it'll always stand up. When a fish picks it up off the ground, it actually will also stand up in the mouth. So when you go to set the hook, it'll go straight up like that. And you'll hook the fish at the top of the mouth every single time. So it's a really good design. It's a company based out of Missouri. Everything's made here in the USA. With this jig, all you, can, you can do a lot of things with it. You can fish it around cover. With the, uh, with the head design the way it is, with the, uh, the uh, guide arms, it'll never get hung up on any wood. Alright guys, so I'm going to uh, show you this uh, new jig coming through the brush. Um, I've got two rods here, one with the new jig and one with a, a competitor's jig. So you guys are going to see, um, you know, what comes through better and you'll know, you know what the results are going to be. Alright, so here we go guys. I'll show you this now. This is going to be the new jig coming through the brush. That's the new jig. Pitch it as high as I can. You guys see that? You guys see that jig there, right? You can see it's in the middle of that real heavy thing. Now watch, I'm gonna work it out. Zoom in one more time. You see that right there. Work it out. And it's out. Just like that. That's some really heavy stuff. Now I pitched it down there. You can see that in the middle there. It's just hanging. You can see that jig hanging right there. Okay, so I'm going to work it out. Oh, this stuff. See that? Came out right there. Now I'm going to show you the competitor's brand. Now I'll show you the competitor's brand, guys. Same weight. It's the same weight jig, 3 8 ounce. See? Not the new jig. It's got a regular skirt on there. Didn't focus it. Pitch it in there. And you can see where it is, right? Now I'm going to try to work it out. Boom. It's stuck right there. It's not coming out. Look at this rod. Sorry, I can turn it off again. Look at this. See how much my rod's bending right there? Sorry for the bad camera, guys. It's hard to film by myself. But you can see. You can see how much my rod's bending. Look at that. Look how much my rod's bending. This is all legit, guys. That, that jig's stuck in there hard. It just won't come out. Now, in that case, you'd be forced to, uh, you know, cut the line or just snap it, and you'd be out 
four, five, six bucks. Stuck again. Look at my rod. You see how much that's bending. See that? That competitor's bait is stuck on there and it's not coming off. Ah. Now I'm putting as much pressure on it on it before the rod snaps in half. You can see it's just The new jig will never do that. You see, once I, uh... You see the jig right there. Sorry, when I keep moving the camera, the camera starts turning off. Pitch that new jig in there. Boom. Just like that, it's out. Didn't even take a second. Just does not even take a second. Just pull a little bit, and it comes right out. It'll save you on money. It'll save you money on jigs. It'll save you on, um, you know, line, because all the nicks in your line from, from trying to work that out, Every time you pull, 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 and there's a stick grinding against it every time you pull, you know, down in the water, that stick is just grinding against it, creating friction, and it's just, you know, wearing away the line, you know, and uh, it can lose your fish when you're doing that, or you got to retie, you got to, you know, waste line, so it's just, it's just, you know, crazy not to use a new jig. Try to work that out. Boom, it's out. Super really good jigs. Thanks for watching, guys.